morning, good morning uh, class. Uh, thank you that uh, we all gathered here, that we may uh, listen to the word of God. Uh, I want to welcome everybody here. I want to welcome every child here. Thank you, thank you for this wonderful morning. Uh, we thank God that he has given us this wonderful opportunity uh, this morning, that we may be able to listen to the word of God. We are going to learn something from the word of God. I thank God that he has given us an opportunity today to bring to you the word of God uh, the, through this uh, online platform. And we know this is because the government has given us some instructions on how to be doing gatherings that we are not able now to gather in the church like the way we used to do. We are not gathering in our usual classes there that we have been used to, uh, to be attending. And so today, we shall, uh, I will come you uh, uh, to ACK, St. Christopher Church, uh, uh, online, online service. Uh, wonderful, thank you. And today we are going to have our lesson that's about uh, the widow's gift. I want to ask you, have you ever received a gift from somebody? Have you remember when you, give, you, you received a gift from somebody? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Then, uh, uh, do you remember giving a gift to somebody? Yes, I know you have given a gift to somebody. Yes, yes, remember, you gave a gift. Uh-huh. What did you give? Okay, were they happy when you gave them that gift? Oh, they appreciated it. Eh? Oh, thank you. And today, from the word of God, we're going to learn a story of a lady who gave something. And Jesus saw it and he really appreciated. And the word of God from the book of Luke, chapter number 21. Remember we said Luke is in the New Testament. We're going to read from chapter 21. That is the big number. The chapter is 21. Verse 1. Verse is the small numbers. Up to verse 4. And we are going to see this lady who gave something. And when Jesus saw it being given, he really appreciated it. And we are going to read the book of Luke, chapter number 21, and verse 1 up to verse 4. And he looked up and saw the rich putting their gift into the treasury. Now this Jesus looking and seeing the rich people putting uh, some uh, gift into the treasury. Remember the treasury was uh, kept somewhere in the, in the church that people would come and give. Like, remember what we said, that somebody had given something, somebody had received something, and that person was given something. He really appreciated. So, and he saw also a certain poor widow in two mites. So he said, truly I say to you that this poor widow has put in more than all. For all these, out of their abundance, have put in offering for God. But she, out of her poverty, put in all her livelihood, all she had. Boys and girls, let me remind you of this poor widow who is referred in the Bible. That she came carrying the ritual that she had. When she was compared by the big guys who were rich and were pouring a, a lot of money, when she was compared with them, Jesus said that she has given all what she had. Why do you think that Jesus says that she gave? all that she had. It is because she gave something from her heart. So today, today we are getting to learn that we are supposed to give 
all what we have from our heart. We should not be compelled. Sio ile tunasukumwa sana dio tupeane. Sio ile tunasukumwa sana dio tupeane. Tunaabiwa, tunaweza peana hata ile kidogo ambacho tuko nacho. Lakini itoke kwa mioyo yetu. So today our lesson teaches to search first in our hearts and decide that whatever we are going to give is from our heart and we should not give it in mama si at wakati tunapeana tunaanza kulalamika lakini tunapeana tukishukuru Mungu sababu yeye ndiye ametupatia kila kitu na from the word of god in the book of second corinthians chapter number 9 second corinthians chapter number 9 we are going to to hear what paul advises us to do and when we do it what will happen to us because we want to give when we give from our hearts and then god will bless us in a big way so the book of second corinthians chapter number 9 and verse number 7 the bible says so let each one give as he possesses in his heart not grudgingly all necessity for god loves a cheerful giver So God loves a cheerful givers. Do you want God to love you? Oh yes, I know everybody want to be loved by God. Who doesn't want to be loved by God? Me, I want to be loved by God. Me, I want to be loved by God. I know you want to be loved by God. So when you are giving, give with a happy heart. Give without complaining. And so, we ask ourselves, what can we give? So, think what can you give? What can you give? Ah, uh, me I can give some clothes to my brother. Yes, yes. You can give something to your brother. Oh yes. You can even share your toy with your brother. And you are going to do it gladly. Why? We all want to be loved by God because God love a cheerful giver. So what else can you give? we can even share our food with our friends so when we do that what will happen so when we give and we are not complaining we are going to be loved by god god loves a cheerful giver that is what the bible says so what else can we give let us think 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 what else can you give what else Okay, you can even share clothes with needy uh, children. There could be a, a, a child that, that, that does not have a, a shirt and you can say, "Oh, I'll give out my shirt." Why? Because God loves a cheerful giver. Most so we can give God our lives. So when we give God our lives and God loves a cheerful giver we will be loved by God So if today we give our lives to God the love of God will continue in our lives How do we give our lives to God It accept him as a lord and savior of our lives so we give our life to god so that the love of god may continue in our lives because the bible tells us that god loves a cheerful giver we thank god today uh, because that we have learned that god loves a cheerful giver so we can start 
by sharing what we have <clears throat> so that we can be loved more by our God. We have learned a lesson from the widow who gave out everything that she had. And when Jesus saw it, comparing her with those people who were coming and giving out, giving a lot of their abundance, Jesus said that this lady, because she has given all that she had, she was much, much blessed. That is what we, uh, we, 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 we read from the book of Luke, that's chapter 21, verse 1 to verse 4. Then when we went to the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter number 9 and verse 7, we hear an advice there that tell us that God loves a cheerful giver. So me and you, we are loved by our God because we always give cheerfully. We always give without complaining. So we are happy when we are giving. We are happy when we are even giving our lives to God so that he may continue loving us because we have given as a cheerful giver. So God bless you. Thank you. We shall be meeting here on online uh, services every Saturday. Remember we say the government has given us some instructions about gathering. So we are not worried. When you are seated back at home, we just have to uh, be in this service every Sunday and we are going to be blessed more and more. We shall see what the word of God says. We shall listen to his uh, teachings. We shall learn how good people did good things in their lives and they were blessed. Like this widow who participated in giving in a cheerful way and she was blessed. So we thank God and uh, we don't, you don't forget to tune in on every Sunday for this and more uh, uh, teachings from ACK St. Christopher's. So God bless you and keep you safe. Thank you.